Where is Optimus Prime? He survived the fall of Cybertron. And no rebellion is truly dead until the leader is vanquished. So where is he? The indigenous life is even more primitive than I expected. <laughs> Focus, comrade. B-127's distress signal came from the western coast of this continent. For now, we head west. The humans are multiplying. Please, let me kill them. Not yet. B-127's signal has gone silent. I have an idea. People of Earth, we are Decepticon peacekeepers patrolling the galaxy. What are you doing? This is humiliating. We believe a dangerous criminal from our world is hiding somewhere on yours. How is it you think we can help? We need your eyes. Wait. You want access to our satellites? Our scanner's range is limited. Your infrastructure is primitive, but combined, they could be quite powerful. No way, out of the question. We have a common enemy, Agent Burns. There's a war raging on our planet. If B-127 isn't found, that war may find its way here. Perhaps we can find a way to help one another. We'll talk it over with our superiors. In the meantime, if you could follow us. Very well, friend Powell. Take us to your leader. Tayura Aldo the Apache. So you're the Jew hunter? I'm a detective. A damn good detective. Finding people is my specialty, so naturally I worked for the Nazis finding people, and yes, some of them were Jews, but Jew hunter? <laughs> Just a name that stuck. Well, you do have to admit, it is catchy. Do you control the nicknames your enemies bestow on you? Aldo the Apache and the Little Man? What do you mean, the little man? German's nickname for you. The German's nickname for me is the little man? And as if to make my point, I'm a little surprised how tall you were in real life. I mean, you're a little fellow, but not circus midget, as little as your reputation would suggest. Where's my man? Where's Bridget Von Hammersmart? Well, let's just say she got what she deserved. And when you purchase friends like Bridget von Hammersmark, you get what you pay for. Now, as far as your paisanos, Sergeant Donowitz and Private Omar... How you know her names? Lieutenant Aldo. If you don't think I wouldn't interrogate every single one of your swastika-marked survivors... We simply aren't operating on the level of mutual respect, I assume. No, I guess not. Well... Back to the whereabouts of your two Italian saboteurs. As of this moment, both Omar and Donowitz should be sitting in the very seats we left them in. 0023, 0024, if my memory serves. Explosives still around their ankle, still ready to explode, and your mission, some would call a terrorist plot, as of this moment, is still a go. That's a pretty exciting story. What's next? Lies on the ice? However, all I have to do is pick up this phone right here, inform the cinema, and your plan's kaput. There ain't no way you're gonna take in boys out setting off in bombs. I have no doubt. And yes, some Germans will die, and yes, it will ruin the evening, and yes, Goebbels will be very, very, very mad at you for what you've done to his big night. But you won't get Hitler, you won't get Goebbels, you won't get Goering, and you won't get Bormann. And you need all four to end the war. But if I don't pick up this phone right here, you may very well get all four. And if you get all four, you end the war. You have done well, Detective. Now, come and find me. Collect your reward. Welcome, Detective. It is time for your final challenge. Kill me, replace me as the head of the demon. It is your destiny. Allow me 
to help you. Use my sword. Take it all. No. And that is your final answer? <laughs> now, only one of us can leave this chamber alive. Wheels. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Witness the true power of my Lazarus Pit! You cannot defeat us! Our numbers are too great! <laughs> he said I was a monster. I think that's quite rude, don't you? Oh, hey, did you hear the news? Shao Tucker, that alchemist in East City? He's dead. Because it was him who was responsible for the murder. Yeah. And apparently the Full Metal Brat's there, too. Well, well, would you look at that? What's the Full Metal Pipsqueak doing here? Oh my, the Pipsqueak's raring to go. I think I made it angry. Then what would you prefer? A Pipsqueak? Whoa, now. There's no need to fight here. Someone might get hurt, you know. Lucky me! You're fortunate your arm's broken. If not for that, you wouldn't be getting off so easily. There, how do I look now? You really are a smart man, Lieutenant Colonel. Did you ever think that'd be the cause of your death? Mm. You look surprised. You humans don't make any sense to me. You throw away your lives for nothing. Hmm. <laughs> oh, really? I thought nothing was impossible. You used to toss that one around like it was your catchphrase. You change your mind or something? Shh. Huh? You scum! Okay, then. If that's how you want it, <laughs> I'm gonna show you two boys something neat before we die. Consider it a party gift! <laughs> Bastard! I'm done playing with you. I collected all the fragments that I can find. What happens if it goes wrong? Yeah, that's right. You get us out of here and I'll gladly tell you everything. You've spent enough time beating around the bush. I'm tired of waiting for you to ask. You need to pay a toll, right? To open the portal. This should work. At one time, but their minds and bodies crumbled long ago. All that's left is energy to be consumed. They don't even remember what they looked like when they were alive. Is that pity? How childish are you? You're desperate to see these things as human because you want to believe that your brother still retains his humanity. <laughs> Would you hesitate to throw a bundle of logs onto a fire because you pitied the tree they came from? These souls can never go back to being human. You have to use logic if you are to determine what a human is. Don't let your emotions decide. Hoji, tell me, since when has it been your place to recommend a course of action to me? <sighs> I told the Batosai that we were having a duel today. To go against my word as a swordsman like that is something I will never stand for! The conditions of the duel are final! You just do as you're told and gather the Jupangatana right now! In the end, only the fittest survive in this world. I've heard those words. Your mind can understand it, but your emotions won't allow you to, is that it? That's just like you. It's the same thing with your obsession with not killing. But if you're that stupid, then your name as Batosai the Manslayer is finally about to be put to rest. Instead of living to a pathetic old age, I think it'd be better if you go out with a bang right now. Because at least that way, You'll have a name in the new history that I'll be creating for this country! After all this, you still don't get it, do you? No matter how much you may desperately try to run away from it, neither you nor Sojiro can ever escape from the absolute laws of nature. Nobody here is trying to run away. Huh. I go out of my way to warn you and you turn around and mock me. Fine! I'll bring the law of nature to you! Yes, he was quite the intelligent man, wouldn't you agree?
I only wish I'd had the opportunity to pick his brain. <gasps> On your knees. I want to know everything. Sorry to say. But it's gonna take more than you're capable of to make me get on my <laughs> How merciless. Did you pick that up in Ishval? Huh? You're a homunculus. Indeed. How very astute of you, Jean. But I doubt you've seen this one. Take a good look, boys. It's a Philosopher's Stone. I was created with this stone at my core. It's not just a legend, it's my heart. You're a monster! That was uncalled for. I do have feelings. Apart from a few things, I was made nearly identical to you. I am human. I've got a funny feeling the only reason you're telling us this it's because you don't plan on letting us live. Yeah, it's such a shame. An Ouroboros tattoo. Aren't you observant? I was hoping that I'd only have to deal with a little armored giant. Why don't you just ask your partners whatever you want to know? Partners? Yeah, the rest of the Ouroboros gang from the fifth lab. They had a couple of armor-bonded souls with them as well. You don't say. Well, it's kind of a long story, but we don't talk much anymore. I've got a little proposal for you. You guys are pretty desperate to get your bodies back, right? Because I can teach you how to fabricate your own homunculus in no time at all. In return, all I ask is you teach me how to transmute a soul. Classic equivalent exchange. <laughs> but I really don't understand why you would want your other body back. Seems like you've got one that's perfect already. No, I don't! You're joking, right? You don't need to eat. You don't need to sleep. You don't even need to use the toilet. Sounds great to me. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That move would have hospitalized most people. But you're not like most people, huh? Well, my body is. All that sets me apart are my ultimate shield and my advanced healing powers. Nothing special, but you're never gonna beat me, so I'd suggest making a deal. Oh, you're one of those guys. You don't care if somebody beats the crap out of you, but if someone lays a finger on a family member, you completely freak out. What a waste. You lose your temper like this, and you're gonna lose my information and your brother. My brother's fine. He's just waiting for me to kick your ass. You've already told us you're not immortal, remember? And your ultimate shield doesn't cover much. <laughs> Sorry to let you down, but I've been holding back. This obscures my handsome face, so I try not to wear it that much. I wasn't kidding, kid. Try all you like, but you're not gonna beat me. So, are you ready to tell me your secret now? How long you want to drag this out, kid? It'd be so much easier if you just... STAY DOWN! Well, that was bizarre. Good as new. Yahari, Kaugate High Shoto Ichi, Night Raid of Shere to Tante, Shoji Stay to Tegara, Sreno Namo Night Raid of Tante, Yokotomi Ustomete Matte Takayata, Yato, Yato Megriata Night Raid. と Hello, gentlemen. I journeyed here in order to take your lives. Yo. <laughs> Let's party!
様ら作る者がいれば壊す者もいるということだいい度胸だだが。破壊では壊せぬはずだ変わったやつらよセントラルで何してきたのだ匂う匂うよ血の匂いをまとったイシュバール人が近くにいるよあいつ食べていい<笑>もう終わり食べていいたまぎれたまぎれそれじゃあいただきますえっとなんだっけあ,あ思い出した女将軍殺すうんうんうんさすがくじゃあまあはい。Greed may not be good, but it's not so bad either. You humans think greed is just for money and power, but everyone wants something they don't have. If you wanted my help, Hidan, you should have asked sooner. It was you! You're the slow one, Kakazu! It was on purpose, wasn't it? <laughs> you were the one who told me to stay out of it at the start. I really don't think you're in any position to complain right now. She's all yours. Still, you're pretty good. I'll grant you that. Careful, Hidan. She's the Two Tails Jinchuriki host. Underestimate her, and she'll finish you off. Not necessarily Captain. You may give it to me. You know what? I should do it myself. Captain. Sir, I insist you give me the plan. Otto, get out of my way. We cannot go home. What are you talking about? Why not? That is classified. Captain, give me the plan. What do you mean classified? You don't keep secrets from the captain. Give me the plan. Tell me what's classified. The plan. All communications are terminated. You are confined to quarters. Sekko, shikari to tore ta daro na. 今のやつらの生命にしがみつく必死の競争をはっはっはっはっおおっよーしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよしよし人はどの生命よりも好奇心が強いから進化したのだ早く見たい俺はこういうやつらが死ぬところを早く見たいと思っていたのだうわあそうだすまない忘れてたご褒美をやるぞよく取れたご褒美だ2個でいいか3個か甘いの3個欲しいのかいやしんぼめいいだろう3個やろういくぞせっこ3個いくぞコナミ人になって死んだ<笑>私の口の中はどこに通じているのか自分でも知らぬが暗黒の空間になっている吹っ飛ばしてやったのだ
次はお前らだディオ様を倒そうなどと思い上がった考えは正さねばならんからな一人一人順番に順番にこのバニラアイスの暗黒空間にばらまいてやる面白そうな話をしてるね才能がどうとか僕も混ぜてよふん<笑>楽にしていいよあっちで話そうよところでさなんで骨の下に生きた人がいるのかなうんにゃるほど君たちの言うレアものについて本じゃなくて本人に聞いた方が早いよね君たちもそうするつもりで彼を探してたんでしょあったあったそうか新しい記憶は脳の海馬と呼ばれる部位に記録され古い記憶は大脳皮質にそれを引き出すにはふんにゃるほどあっああ君トラッシュ The dead are nothing but refuse and there is no need for anyone to mourn feel isn't that right Integra What have they done to me? Obviously, I've been captured, brainwashed, and turned into a vampire, then forced against my will to tear my friends and masters to bloody shreds. <laughs> Was that the sort of explanation you were hoping for, Ceres? I answer to no man's will but my own. I am myself in mind, body, and soul. I am Walter C. Dolnez, the Angel of Death. And as the dawn light cuts through the darkness, so shall I reap each of your souls in bloody turn. We'll tear your soul apart! You're not the first to say that. And you won't be the last. I am the way. <laughs> Not quite. Explorers in the further regions of experience. Demons to some, angels to others. Welcome to the worst nightmare of all. Reality. All problems solved. I cannot die. I am forever. Behold, the real Dragon Warrior! Now this is more like it! And now, it's time to unleash the demon's fury upon the world! Ugh, Ugo, I really got this on tight! Of course, Ugwe sealed it with his hero's chi, so I must need the hero's chi to unseal it. <sighs> Where is the hero's chi? How exciting was that? We'll get right to business. I need the hero's chi. And from what I know about chi and balance and harmony, blah, 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 is that when Ugwe left, the universe passed the hero's chi, to one of you. Even if we knew, we'd never tell you. Oh, I think you will. Because otherwise, I'm going to start gobbling up villages by the clawful. Panda! Really hate getting in the middle of a family squabble here, but I am losing my patience! <laughs> <laughs> 